Hello! Mike Bradley here, hope you're doing well as always. It's a review day today, and today I'm reviewing products, as you can see on my t-shirt, by Seymour Duncan! That sounds like some Japanese computer game. <laughs> but yes, I'm reviewing uh, a couple of uh, pedals from uh, the good people at Seymour Duncan. And uh, there'll be another video after this, but today we are looking at this devil box of pure evil. Uh, this is the Seymour Duncan Dirty Deed distortion pedal, and they'll be a close up now. And uh, well, what can I say about this? Uh, well, I can't really say much about it because you're going to be hearing it through the power of your ears. But uh, this certainly is a rock machine, this pedal. It's a really, you know, a good high gain rock pedal. And it sounds great clean, and it sounds great, well, when I say clean, when the amp's clean. And it sounds great when the amp's dirty, but if you, if you want just stupid amounts of gain, this will do it for you, you know. So uh, I'm going to jump straight to it, and uh, let's look at some sounds to the dirty deed. Oh. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start out with just a clean sounding amp. So this is my amp clean. Okay, and just so you know, the amp is my Fender Supersonic uh, 22. And I'm using my old faithful uh, Fendo, Fendo, Fender Stratocaster. Um, so yeah, uh, clean amp, and I've got the treble on six, and the bass on seven, and the volumes on two, and it's bedroom level. But once I kick this pedal in, it's gonna rip my ears apart, probably. So the pedal, I've got simple EQ controls here. We've got treble and bass, and level and drive. Uh, at the moment I've got the, lev uh, sorry, the treble and the bass at 12 o'clock and I've got the level at about 11, 10 o'clock 11 and the drive on the same about 10 o'clock 11 o'clock. So here is the clean sound, kick the pedal in, straight away got like a bluesy rock kind of sound, like a rock and roll sound up in it. A very cool blues rock sound, and bear in mind, this is just a clean. <laughs> you know? Let's turn the drive up a little bit. So, like I said, that's about 10 11. Just push it to 12. I won't push the lever anymore <clears throat> because it's very loud <laughs> and I'm in a room in a house so uh, my neighbours hate me as it is. So drive, let's push it a bit more. So this is drive on three o'clock now. It's a nice, rich, warm sound there. Uh, let's change the treble and bass about. So I'll move the treble to about two. I'll leave the bass where it is. This might be a bit bright. Bit bright, 
right for my ears. Let's put the treble back to 12, I'll put the bass up to about 2. You can really notice that bottom end coming. Now one thing which should be noted as well, as I say, this is on a clean amp I keep, keep saying, but there's volume on 10 on the guitar. If I back the volume off, clean sound happen and that's the volume on about well one and a half on my guitar manipulating that uh, volume control you can get some cool different sounds there by just leaving that pedal on all the time I've got my clean sound a little bit of crunch a bit more crunch and then full on rock and that isn't even the gain on full blast until now so, gain, drive, sorry, all the way up. Pretty cool sounding uh, pedal there, just on a amp on a clean sound. I'm very impressed. Right, let's switch over to the dirty. So now I've got my amp on its drive sound. Uh, the gain's on about seven. This is just the amp on its own, bridge pickup. <laughs> now if I kick in the pedal. go up when the pedals kicked in which is very important. started the previous one so level and drive about 10 11 o'clock and treble and bass is on 12 then. <laughs> It's almost like a Clapton woman tone happening. Uh, almost a bit like a fuzz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit like a fuzz when you kind of hit a note and then it goes down in a bass frequency, then it kind of comes back up again in like a treble. That's quite different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Not bad. Let's kick in the drive a bit more. So let's drive. Let's, let's change up. Let's go to one o'clock on the drive. Level's still the same. About eleven o'clock. <laughs> kind of chose a single coil guitar kind of I thought humbuckers you can cheat a bit and get a lot of gain anyway from a humbucker uh, type guitar so I purposely chose a strat and you can hear it's got buckets of gain here and I was loving that note there I was just letting it ring back up. like gain more stuff single pick no so I kind of like it it's a, it's a different tonal sound which is what it's all about it's getting different tonal sounds to help you playing right Let's crank this drive up all the way, it's not muck about anymore. So it drives up all the way, it was on one o'clock before. Treble, let's push the bass up a bit and the treble up a bit. Bass is on about two, treble's on one. but it's there if you need it, you know. So let's put it back on a sensible level. Uh, and like I was saying before, you know, manipulating the volume control. So if I put the pedal on. Volume up a bit more. 
days, when you got the distorted channel on, I, in my, to my ear it sounds very much like a fuzz pedal, uh, which is a great tonal sound to have, you know. Not 100% like a fuzz, of course not, but it's certainly given that kind of pedigree with regarding that bass response being really scooped down and then you let the note ring out and it comes back up in frequency, especially on the neck. <laughs> thing I wanted to say about this pedal, which you don't usually get uh, when, you, when you buy a pedal, in the box with a bit of a box candy, uh, first thing I noticed was you got the rubber kind of sole, what usually comes with a lot of pedals already stuck on the back, uh, and this is there if you want it, if not you've got um, a clear back there, with a bit of dust, um, clear back there uh, where you can put Velcro on if, you know, what most people do when they put it on their pedal boards. And this pedal comes complete, make the sound, ah, with Velcro. And I've never seen that before. You know, I've never seen a pedal um, come with, in the box, some Velcro. And you've got, you've got what, the kind of acne side, <laughs> and you've got the fur side, you know, comes with it as well. And you get, you know, two of each going on there. Uh, you got your hand, you know. So it's there ready to put on your board, and you can go out, gig it, tour it, whatever you know, whatever you do, and it's there. And I think that's really, really cool from Seymour Duncan that they're thinking about the, the kind of working player, and that's what we all are. We're out there playing. If it's with playing in a garage of our mates, if it's playing in a pub, playing a small size club, playing a big you no know, venue, you no know, stadium, whatever. Um, you know, they're kind of thinking about the working man player. So, <laughs> why I gotta do a Hollywood movie sound when I say working man's player? I don't know. But no, it's um I'm very I'm very impressed with it. Uh, so I my kind of overall verdict, I would say this is great, really, really cool. If a lot of times in our experience this when you're doing a gig and you can't take your own amp, and if you need a, a pedal what will do it all, you know, all your drive. Uh, if you and you get there and you're stuck, I don't know, with a Fender Twin, which is a great, great amp, but it's a clean amp, and this will provide ample amount of gain and some for you, you know. Um, so if you're just working on a clean amp and you need a drive, you need a pet, you think, God, what can I do? I've got this, I only got this clean amp, and I've got no dirt from it. If you've got this on your board, you are sorted for gain, you know, an amount of crunch at your disposal, and by working on the volume knob you can uh, manipulate many different tonal sounds. And then also, if you've got it on the amp sound, you know, you've got your, your crunch channel and your amp kicking in, and you just want an extra boost, and obviously you've got the level boost. Now I had it the whole time on, like I say, about 11 o'clock there. Uh, it's got a ridiculous amount of volume, this amp, uh, sorry, this pedal. Uh, so you can have your amp set up on your crunch, and then when you want to kick in a lead sound, bang, it's there, you know, for you. So let me demonstrate that. Here's my amp sound. So I so I got a rhythm going. I want to kick in for a lead. So volume on ten. Need I say no more? So, Seymour Duncan, Dirty Deed, check one out at your local music store, whatnot. And I've been Mike Bradley, take care. Thanks a lot.